After watching their mother battle ALS, the family in Schuylkill County is bringing awareness to the disease. Newswatch 16's Claire Alfrey sat down with the Agosti family to learn how they want the to other families going through a similar journey. Skip's Dairy Bar and Grill along Claremont Avenue in Tamaqua is where the Augusti family are every day, running their family restaurant together. And while working in the food industry has its struggles, the Augustis are facing one of the biggest obstacles yet. Co-owner and mother of four, Linda Augusti, is now living with ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease. I remember I was working at our family restaurant and my dad came in with swollen eyes and my br oldest brother and I, Anthony, uh, we just looked at each other and we just knew. Um, and I just went out to the car and I gave her the biggest hug. After decades of taking care of her four children, Gianna and her three brothers have switched into their mom's caretaker. The same thing Linda Augusti did years ago when her own mother and Nico Augusti's grandmother was battling ALS. Um, her ALS started in her like, throat. Um, and her like vocal muscles, so she lost the ability to speak. Um, and it was very slow. It started with her, you know, fumbling over some words or maybe like mixing up some words, and then eventually uh, she lost the ability to speak altogether. This is the disease that I used to say I would never wish on my worst enemy, and it became a reality, but um, we turned it into a positive. The Augustis have created their own foundation for ALS awareness called Belief for Linda. Through their nonprofit, they want to create a community of support for other families who are taking care of a loved one living with ALS. We're not afraid to talk about it. Um, this is our life. Um, you know, we have to deal with this every day. Um, so we're just trying to, you know, inform others about, you know, what happens with ALS and what it looks like and what we can do to, you know, help battle it. Um, we're raising money for our specific gene research because unfortunately this gene is genetic, so it will get passed on. There's a 50-50 chance of getting it passed on to each of us kids. This Saturday, Belief for Linda will host their first fundraising event as a nonprofit at Marion Catholic High School from 9 to 6 p.m. Claire Alfred, Newswatch 16, Schuylkill County.